Hi there, free spirits. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Daphne and I am doing my third reset video for the year. I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so I am going to start with the... Okay, so I am going to do my monthly reflections first. Uh, per usual in the habit tracker, I did not track anything this month. I was too busy and just did not worry about it. So maybe next month I did create a slightly new system. So I am hoping that will work because having to click through a lot of pages and links, I don't think is working. So I'm trying to simplify that. So that way I can try to have it track more. Um, and then for reflection questions, uh, describe last month in one word. Uh, I would say uncomfortable. Uncomfortable was the word that came to mind. But it that is a good thing because transitioned what the theme for September is going to be. So, uh, which I'm going over in just a second. But yeah. So yeah, everything happens for a reason. Um, what did you accomplish? I did digital declutter a lot, so I'm really proud of myself for that. And I also I also posted two to four videos last month, so that is progress. <laughs> um, I think I posted three total, I'm pretty sure. Um, so really happy about that. And I think that's all I accomplished as far as getting something done. I did inch toward the ending of the book a little bit, but I'm still a little over halfway. So I'm not even close to the, to the end of the book. Um, but I did accomplish a little bit of that. And then I, uh, I did continue working on the novel. So I stuck with my goals for last month and kept it slow, slow productivity. So I did stick with that. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Okay. What lessons did you learn? Um, I think one thing I learned is that discomfort is inevitable in life. I doubt one person has gone through life not feeling uncomfortable. So I just have to learn and figure out how to embrace it. That is kind of what I plan on doing for the next month, as you'll see with my theme. And next, reflect on each monthly and or quarterly goal. So I'm only reflecting on two goals because that's really all I want to share. And also, I think I had one other goal, but I'm keeping that one private, but there's really two other goals. So the first one is post two to four videos um, on YouTube for my channels. I did that and then read one book. I did that, but I did not finish it. So I did not give myself that one. Uh, next, how can I prove for next month? Uh, I need to work on the meal planner prep database. Still, I keep saying that it seems like every month, but I have yet to get to it. And then I need to practice more fearlessness. I think I have grown more comfortable with discomfort, but I still want to keep working on it. That is all of the improvements I can think of for next month. If I think of any more, I will add them to my monthly reflections and then just pop them on the screen. But that's all I can think of right now. How did I step out of my comfort zone? I could not think of a way, but I'm hoping to write something down this coming month. What did I learn about myself? I will keep that one to myself. <laughs> um, I do think it prompted a personal journal prompt though. So um, there's that. And then who were the most meaningful people? I, again, could not think of anyone in particular that stood out. But again, if I think of someone right before I post this, I will pop them on the screen. So that is pretty much my monthly reflections. I may add um, 
another question for the next month. I'm not sure. I came across a question somewhere that I really liked that I thought I would add, but I would have to find it again. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember what the question was. So I may add to this for next month, but yeah. So those are my monthly reflections. So I actually hit add cover and this one popped up and it for some reason was resonating with me. So I kept it. And so I've got like a green and yellow theme going on this month. Um, I have my usual key tasks, August monthly goals, quarterly goals, and back burner tasks in the toggle setting. Um, and then I have here my intention. So it was between courage and transcendence for this month. I really feel like it's come to a point where I need to step out of my comfort zone in a lot of ways. So I set my intention as transcendence to both remind me to step out of my comfort zone. And also it symbolizes what happens when I step out of my comfort zone. So I chose transcendence for that reason. And then I don't know if you've been watching my previous monthly resets, but this year I have adopted a theme where I choose someone, whether it be a celebrity, author, whoever, poet, um, and their birthday is in that the whatever month we're in. So we're coming into September. So I chose someone whose birthday is in September and then I choose an accompanying quote um, to that person. So uh, I chose Roald Dahl this month and here's a picture of him. And I chose there. He actually had a lot of quotes I really liked, but I chose there's a value in doing things that scare you. So I think it kind of correlates with transcendence. Um, and then my payments. So that way I'm reminded to attend to my payments and that way I can check them off and I don't have to, you know, re like remember, Hey, did I pay that? I don't remember, you know? Okay. So I have not put everything in this monthly calendar because I wanted to not go through in the editing process and black anything out this month. So I'm going to add my work schedule and everything else. I think there's one other thing that I need to add, but yeah, everything here is, I don't mind sharing. So I would like to read two pages a day out of the book that I'm reading. And I did that so that way I have some sort of measurable goal. I'm still reading the book two months later, but I have been taking thorough notes, so it's taking me a while. I am about halfway through though. I think I'm a little over halfway. So I'm happy about that. And then per usual, I want to continue brainstorming ideas for the novel idea that I have. And I'm getting a little bit closer on that. So I'm really excited about that, but I want to keep going with some ideas. So that way, when I sit down to do the outline, um, or at least, you know, get a rough idea of how I want it to go, I can sit down and do that because I kind of know what I want to include. And I have some key main points and, yeah, I'm not just sitting down writing <laughs> and not knowing where I'm going and wasting time and all that. So, um, yeah, and then I'm hoping to get to a back burner task today, but we will see. I'm going to add them as needed throughout the month because I don't want to set um, a goal that I don't feel like I can achieve or I might put it on there and if I don't achieve it, that's fine. Um, I think I'll just stick with this for now though so that way I don't overwhelm my brain. And on a few of the days I have some posts where I remind myself that I'm, I need to post the YouTube video for both this channel and my Daphne Heathers channel. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I think I usually leave a link to my other channel in the description box. And 
yeah, and then I have a couple of other goals that I want to complete this month, but I'm still trying to figure out how to put that in my calendar. It's just something that I have to continuously work on so that way I can achieve it. It's not something that I can really put in a task format. I just have to keep it's sort of like a project and then I have to keep breaking down the project. So, um, yeah, it's uh, also something I want to keep private, so I'm not including it in this. And even if I did not want to keep it private, I'm not sure how I would include it in this planner yet. Um, but yeah. Hi, editing Daphne here. So I forgot to add one more thing to the calendar. I'm going to post an updated calendar view, but I am starting to learn a new language. I'm only going to maybe put a little bit of time into this once a week because I do not want to overwhelm myself. But yes, I'm, I just added that to my calendar. So as you can see, it reflects the, uh, the additional goal. So as you can see, it reflects the additional goal that I forgot to put in there regarding language. If you have seen my YouTube short, then you know which language that I am studying. And I will leave a link to that video in the description box if you want to see it. It was really fun to film and it was fun to do because I think that's really fun to draw for your next language. A lot of people pick the language that they want to choose next and I really had no idea which language I wanted to pick so I just let the luck of the draw decide so that was really fun I highly recommend watching it anyway that was everything I wanted to add that is officially my September calendar so I need to think about that but otherwise that's pretty much going to be my month in a nutshell and I'm still staying with that slow productivity thing I think it really helped me last month and yeah that's pretty much my month so we're gonna go over key tasks okay so these are my key tasks um continuing to look for a third party to revise my poem book. I haven't really had time to do that yet, so I may not get to it this month, but we'll see. And then I'm continuing to work on new poems for the new poem book that I want to publish, but that's not gonna be for a little while. Work on back burner tasks, that one's kind of ongoing. And then I'm not doing five chapters of the book and I've got the two pages in the planners so those are the key tasks for pretty much every week probably and then for august monthly goal uh, i want to hopefully finish the book if not that's fine um and then i'm going to work on back burner tasks as i can the novel and then i want to post two to four youtube videos i did post, I think, three YouTube videos last month total, maybe three or four. So I actually achieved that goal. So that's exciting. And then quarterly goals pretty much repeats and uh, back burner tasks, just the list of things that I need to do, like declutter notebooks and things like that. That is my September monthly reset. And I hope you got something out of it. And as always, I will leave a link to this template down below. I um, have it for sale. And I also offer a free template if you'd rather have a free template to start with. That is my September monthly reset. I will see you in the next video.